Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Fazanadu. Alright, it took me a while, but I finally amassed 15,000 gold. So we can get the tilt spell. Now you're gonna wish I did this off screen, because here's why. You have to watch the entire amount of gold disappear. I'm not even kidding. Alright, so we're gonna need a little bit more money to buy some more red potions, so... Can you do the honors and end my life, please? Thank you. Oh, I'm not feeling negative anymore. Thanks for the extra monies. I appreciate it. So now I could go stock up on some more red potions. How many do I have? One hourglass, one set of wing boots could be good. And we could probably just stock the rest of it on red potions. And we'll feel a lot better with our chances. So, we're pretty much at the near end of the game. In fact, if everything goes according to plan, we could be looking at this being the finale already. Yeah, an action RPG can take like five episodes. You know, like Bonga standard episodes. Which can range anywhere between 20 plus minutes to over 40 minutes. I have a lot of range. I guess I should equip the uh, tilt a spell. I don't know if it's any good. Oh! So it goes at an angle. It's not a magic that shoots straight forward. Here, give me some more meat so I can get my MP back. Thank you. So, your mileage with this spell may vary. reason to have the magic rod. It just makes quick work of everything in your path. Well, almost everything. But it certainly made quick work of them. Please help me. Thank you. And now that I got that ring from before, we can finally go this way. go down. And this way leads to the next town. The town of Dartmoor. You need peace of mind. I will meditate with you. Comma six quarters of the year. Okay. I'm going to end up swallowing my own tongue if I keep reading a password like this. Search inside the castle. You should find a guru. Okay. Oh, I could use some more meat. 800 gold, though. Ugh, that's expensive. Man. That's steep. So I can get some keys here. I don't think I'll ever need a key in it ever again. So what do you got for sale? Red potions are 2,000 now. Yikes. Okay, and that's a dead end. So we don't even need to go any farther. Well, I guess I can just go in that castle. Oh god, no, we get attacked. That castle was a bad idea. So I guess I have to keep going down. I 
Ah, damn. Thought I was gonna get the jump on him. No such luck. Guess I should keep going down. And maybe next I'll go right? Left seems like it could be a bit tricky to get around, but maybe that would be correct. Whoa! He was coming at me real quick as soon as I got close. Some good that did him, though. Whoops. Well, that sucked. Alright, let's try this again. No! Come on. That, that gap between the second and third platform is pretty wide. Is it telling me that I have to have wing boots? Nope, I just had to jump a little bit later. And it looks like I had to do that. Otherwise, I can't get up here without wing boots. Hello. Let's over this way first. Oh, more like this guy again? I hate this guy. Because he just comes at you fast and furious. I think I'm going in the right direction. I like to think I am. Ow. How many red potions do I have? Four. Four seems like a good number, and I'm gonna get some health here anyway. There we go. Okay, this is definitely the castle then. So I can tell now this is the right way. I have to use wing boots to get over here. But I wonder if that's even mandatory. I really hope it isn't. I'm gonna head- Ow! I'm gonna head over this way. Let's see if I can ship these guys out of the way. I don't know if you can hit this guy in the legs or if you have to, like, jump and hit him. So I'm just gonna try jumping and hitting him, and it worked. Wow, you guys are a blast from the past. Mm. Okay, that works. Oh, I should've killed him. Oh, Jesus. Mm. I already got an hourglass, so... so I don't think I need another. I will need a little bit of health, though. So if you can hook me up, that would be great. Just a thought. Suppose I can just keep using this guy to get some health. Mm, maybe one more. Thank you, sir. I'll do it again. From the looks of things, I'm... Probably gonna have to run. See if I can get the ladder. If doing a regular jump, I don't think I'm gonna reach. Yeah, see? Oh, you know what? I think I can just do it from this one. Would that even be necessary, though? Hey, look, there's another ladder right here. What the hell is that? Touch the poison. Oh no. Oh wait, I got the tilt magic. No wait, I I unequipped it for death. Oops. Ah, these guys are irritating. What if I just do this? What if I just fire death while I'm on this? Uh, 
Ouch. Just go, just go, go, go. Oh god, there's a boss. What if I use the hourglass? Oh damn, you actually lose health from that? And it's still moving. But it's not shooting projectiles. So I guess I can take advantage of that. Uh oh, the hourglass is wore off, so I guess it's gonna start shooting again. But I got him! Got him just in time! So I got the Dragon Slayer. Can I equip it? Hmm. I can! And look at my equipment! I have changed for the better. Okay, let's just go on this way. Oh yeah, now I got some raw power. What's in here? Oh. You the big angry. I don't want any of this. Maybe I should just go. I believe we're done here. Defeated the derb. I have proven a worthy champion. Oh, nice, I jumped over the poison. So I don't know if this actually does do more damage than the giant blade. I think it does. Yeah, you can't hit them in the uh, legs. So I think we're done here. Question is, where do I go to next? I'll just keep going in this direction. Let's think about where I have not been yet. Hey, come back down, coward. Hopefully they're weak. Well, the good news is if I do die, I'll end up back in Daybreak and... No, I, I'll be in Dartmoor. Is that where I want to be? Uh-oh. Oh, and I died to the poison. Well, at least I still have all this. Hi. You need peace of mind, blah, 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 okay. So I need to go somewhere else. So the question is, where is that somewhere, somewhere else? Maybe over this way? Because kind of thing that I... I did wonder if I ever needed to go to the left. Maybe I do now. It's worth a shot. It could lead somewhere very important. Oh. Hello. I'll never have to worry about money when it comes to these guys. These walkers, they're easy to handle, and they drop lots of cash. If you see the Guru, he'll give you the Demon's Ring. Defeat the Evil One with Dragon Slayer. Alright, that, that's good and all, but where the hell is the Guru? See one. Let me keep retracing my steps.
Maybe it was in that building with the three doors I didn't go to. In any case, it's worth a look. Ah, you... Dickwad. Man, enemies really love doing that in this game. It's like, we'll just hit you instantly. What? The bridge just disappeared. Yeah, maybe if I go back up here? Yeah, I didn't go this way yet. Guess we'll find out if a guru is in this building. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Or that one. None of them? Do I have to go all the way back to Daybreak? Alright, it turns out I missed the guru in the castle itself, because I'm an idiot. I did not think to look everywhere in the castle for the guru. Alright, so I think what we need to do is go right. I oh, should have just not killed that guy when I had the chance. And I think you're supposed to go down. See that ladder that goes downward? We didn't go that way. Let's see what's down here. I think this is the correct ladder. There we go. The monster you've just defeated is King Greed. The king of the dwarfs. The evil one changed his appearance. The king protected the sword from the evil one by hiding it within his own body. Use the sword to defeat the evil one in the fortress. This will open the door to the fortress. The demon's ring. So that's why they tell you to go to the guru because he has the key to the final area. For reasons. Or thought a guru would be the gatekeeper to the final boss. Well, that's just how it is. You know what, I think I'm just gonna let him kill me. I think it'd be a little bit faster if I just warp directly to Dartmoor. So there you go. And I'll... Should I get myself one more red potion? I think I should. I mean, we're closing in on the finale here. Let's do this thing. Might as well go all out, right? I mean, what else am I going to be carrying? I can't carry any keys. Let's freaking go. We're going to finish this game right now. And we are locked and loaded and ready to go. Do I still have death equipped? Yes. Yeah, I think I prefer death over the tilt of magic. I still never understood, like, how that guy can hit me even without swinging its weapon. But, that's video games for ya. They ain't perfect, but we love them. Well, there are some we have, like... Some, like, a love-hate relationship for. I mean, just look at my legacy over the past several years. Well, if you can call it a legacy. Over 600 plus playthroughs. Either completed or not. That's insane. So now we can go in here. Alright, so this is it. The Evil Fortress. Hmm. I would like to go over there. What if we just use the wing boots? Uh oh. We gotta be quick. I fucked it up. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Well, I'm not gonna get the ointment, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go in raw. But as you can see what I just did, I just pretty much brute forced my way to the last room. I don't even need to fight this guy. What I will need is to make sure my red potions are ready. So this is the final boss, the evil one. It's just a skull with legs. There, I won. <laughs> that was the final boss! Wow. Glad to have you back safely. It will take time, but the elves and the dwarfs will become friends and return the peace to this land, as it used to be. I understand you will leave to continue your journey. What a restless guy. I know, right? I shall leave home with epic music. At least everything looks nice and colorful again. Now that the evil magic from the meteorite has dispersed. Also, look at the size of that tree. Could you imagine what would happen to this city if the tree decided to wither away and then tip over? Well, at least they have firewood for the rest of their lives. Oh! There's, there's no credits! <laughs> so that's it! That's Pizzanadu for the NES! So, what did I think about this game? I thought it was pretty good. Like, it has a fair balance of, like, you know, simple and yet downright hard, but it really tests your metal. But these were, like, it was like an old-style action RPG for the NES, so that's normal. So would I recommend you try this out? Absolutely. In fact, I think if you still have your the Nintendo Wii, you probably still have it on the virtual console, if you downloaded it by that time. Hopefully you did, because this is definitely a good game to try out. So anyway, this is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.